Hi guys, it's Daniel from the Tool Room. Remember this guy? The Velocity Rogue 4.5. I've had it a few months now, I've been using it. How is it held up? Let's get into that. So guys, here it is, the Velocity Rogue 4.5 in this fetching orange colour. Again, I will say, guys, it is a very, very handsome bag. I'll give it that. I'm very impressed with the uh, looks of this bag. And I've decided to tell you what I like about this bag, what I don't like so much about this bag, and give you my honest review of what I thought of it, having used it for a while. Okay, so there you go. I'll just give you a little reminder, look around the bag. Now, I've shown you the bag with all the tools in it in my last review, so you can go to that review if you want to see that, the full review of this. This is going to be a quicker video afterwards just saying how i felt about this bag okay now i'm going to start off by saying it's been a really good bag it's been a really handy bag um i've mentioned before it's a really exceptionally well built well built bag and i have enjoyed using it and it certainly turned a few heads i'll give you that much um i i really like the uh, uni light version of this as well the yellow one and i can never decide which look i like the best do i like the orange the best or do i like the yellow one the best i, I can never decide i sort of bounce back and forth so what I'm going to do with this bag, I've decided I'm going to tell you the things that I haven't liked so much about it at first, um, or not so much things I haven't liked about it, things that haven't been that useful for me in the way I use my bag. And then I'm going to talk about what I like about the bag. Okay, so let's just start off. So firstly, these on the side here, now they are designed to keep a gas bottle in. Um, I believe, uh, really, and for me, as a you know, as a as a intruder alarm and fire alarm uh, engineer, I was thinking I'd put a bottle in here or something, but I've actually not really found too much use for this pocket, this on the side. So for me, if this was my bag, I'd I'd like design it, and I know Velocity all into like uh, design ideas for bags. I'd possibly have like you know, just possibly a big pocket here instead. It'd be cool if there was like an option to have a big pocket here instead. If you if you're in a different trade trade to like a you know a gas engineer or something like that, this is the second thing here. Now this was originally inside the bag. Now I don't really like to take, keep my my um, tape inside the bag because, it, well you know I like it on the outside so I can just grab it. I tend to keep my bag shut up on site so that you know be little sticky paws aren't tempted to steal things, but um, I prefer this on the outside of the bag, and. Because of the clips on this, um, the D-ring on here is a lot thicker, so the clips don't really go very well over the D-ring. They they do fit, but I, I'm just slightly worried that I'm uh, abusing them slightly on that. I know, that's really nitpicking. The third and final thing I found with this bag, which hasn't been so great, and this, again, is more to do with my build than anything else, I dare say. I'm sure some of you would find it absolutely fine, is that... These here, um, you can move them up and down, but even on this lower setting for me, I, I I have found a little bit that they they tend to ride quite high up on my chest, so they kind of ride, you, you know, a bit a bit too close to my neck, which um isn't isn't always the most comfortable on the chest strap. But that's it. That's all I've got to say, which which I don't like about this bag. Okay, so that that's it. Um, if you're a different build, you may not find that a problem if you're sort of uh, shorter or, or slimmer or something like that. But uh, that's all That's all I found really that um, I dislike about the bag. Or well, not dislike about the bag, but, you know, little things I'd change about the bag. Now, regards to the build quality, I said when I, when I reviewed this bag, it was very well built. It's held up really, really nicely, okay? My bags, I'm not going to lie, they don't get a particularly rough life. They don't uh, get thrown around building sites. They don't go in dirty, filthy factories or anything like that. If they did, you know, you, you, it, this would be covered in filthy, dirty fingerprints and everything, the orange on here. So they don't, they don't get a bad, it doesn't get a bad life. Normally, I work um, doing the fire alarms and intruder alarms in retail. So I do, you know, some of the big chain shops. I can't drop names here, but some very well-known big chain shops we do. So apart, the dirtiest, I guess, really is the warehouses out the back. Sometimes if they've had a water leak through the roof or something, then I might have to put this hard base to good use. And, you know, sitting in some water or something. But that's the worst this bag really gets to. And I do look after my bags. I don't chuck the bag around ever. I don't do that to any of my bags. 
I'm, I am conscious of where I put it, to be honest. If um, there's a filthy, dirty place to put it, I will try and put it on something. I will try and avoid it. Another thing, things I've liked about this bag, I've liked the uh, neoprene pockets inside. I like the stretchiness of them, so they're, they're nice and easy to use. So, you know, you can fit lots of different things. And then normally my, my sort of quoting screwdriver will sit in there, my ratcheting screwdriver, and I'll just keep some pens in there. And things don't tend to fall out, which is good. Um, it's got some D-rings if you want to hike it up some ladders or anything. I never really do that. I just put it on my back if I want to go up some ladders, as long as I've got somewhere else to put it. So it's got these D-rings to hike it up. And again, it's got the, the fid lock system, the, the clever little magnetic fid lock system which uh, clips together, as you can see, just like so, and just locks into place without any problems magnetically. So that's quite cool. Um, I've liked this bath, this, this in the front here. That opens up really nicely, but <laughs> I'm really sad actually, because I don't like it to stick out too much because I feel like it spoils the look of the bag. I know that's very sad, but uh, there you go. I also like the light on the front. This has been really useful. Um, sometimes when I test emergency lights, now normally when I do a job, I'll have to test emergency lights. I'll have to do the fire alarm. I'll have to do the intruder alarm. And as you're leaving the emergency lights on for an hour, I'll tend to do the other things while the emergency lights are down. And sometimes when they conk out or if they fail immediately, it can be sometimes dark where I'm actually working. So that light there is very useful. So I can just point that wherever I like. And amazingly, I haven't had to, as you can see, sorry to blind you all, I haven't had to charge that light once since I've had it. Which is a good thing because, <laughs> now I'm sure this is me being thick, but I wasn't entirely sure how to charge it. And when I found how to charge it, um, it's got that. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what that is, to be honest. I'm sure I'm just being thick and it's blatantly obvious to most people what that is. Does it go into, I don't know, does it go into like a USB or something? I'm not sure. I'm just not entirely sure what that charger is. So um, hopefully it'll just never run out of batteries ever and I'll be okay. Because <laughs> I'm not going to know how to charge it when it does. So drop in the comments below how I charge the light. That'd be great. Um, and as I say, you can keep that out of there if you want. Um, if you don't particularly want the light in it, or if you want to move the light around and use it for something else, you can do that as well. So, um, inside, I found... Now, I found you can only keep what you can keep in this bag, okay? I, I like the fact you can't overload it too much, and I've used this as a service bag um, when I'm servicing CCTV and things. You can't overload the bag too much, okay? Which I like about it, because... I am a nightmare for making bags too heavy. This is this is the clip where the where the tape loop was supposed to go. So I like you know I like the pocket layout there that I can't overload it too much. I've emptied everything out of it so you can have a good look at the bag again. And because I want to show you the condition the bag is still in, okay, after using it for a while. And as you can see, there's no damage to the bag at all. The zips are all still good. It's still in very, very good condition. Now the fit locks on the back, I was a bit worried at first, to be honest, because I don't know if this is supposed to sort of take the weight off the straps um you know my worries haven't been founded because you know i've never had any damage as you can see there's no damage or, or slipped uh, stitches or anything to the strap so it's been absolutely fine another thing i've really enjoyed about the bag is this pocket here because i've been able to keep my cccv test tester in there so that's really useful as you know you know i, I use lots of different bags and uh, this is quite good. And also I was able to strap my multimeter in there so it didn't fall about and keep some pens and useful things in there. And I used to keep my laser distance measure in there and a load of bits and bobs and parts and leads for my CCTV in there. So that was quite good. So you couldn't overload the bag too much. And as you can see again, it's still in very good condition. Again, I will say I don't give my bag a hard life, but to be honest, if you want to use this on a building site or whatever and chuck it around a bit, I don't think it's going to give you too many problems, but I do tend to look after things as best as I possibly can, because why wouldn't you? So yeah, I mean, the only way at the place, again, that it's really sustained any damage is on the bottom there. It's a bit scratched up, where it's been put on the floor a lot. But apart from that, um, I think it stayed, with a bit of a wipe over, I think it stayed pretty much mint, to be honest. So yeah, it's been, um, it's been, a, it's been a good bag. So... This is how I found the bag then after using it for a while. Um, 
not too much to say really there's nothing negative about it really apart from the little points i've mentioned but they're just you know little preference things so yeah it's been a it's been a good little bag and uh, i've enjoyed using it um and you know i think i think it will hold up quite well so um hope you've enjoyed this video guys um click a like and subscribe if you can um i'll put uh, descriptions to this bag below in the comments and uh yeah have a good night guys i'll see you on the next one night night